Tegra 4, Tegra 4 uh, is nearly, nearly the worst kept secret. Uh, and the reason, the reason for that is because we, uh, we, uh, uh, we had to start talking to our customers about it and the enthusiasm became so great uh, around, around its introduction that, that uh, uh, specs of Tegra 4 floated everywhere. And we in, immediately received uh, quite a bit of questions. The first question, is how much performance does a cell phone need? I'm reading books fine, I'm listening to music fine, my UI is just fine, I'm reading magazines fine, everything works, movies work, everything seems to work. How much performance does anybody need in these mobile devices? Well, if you ask us, we need a lot more performance. We just need a lot more performance. And here today, I'm here to prove it to you. I'm here to prove to you that we need a lot more performance. Tiger 4 has 72 GPU cores. This thing is flooded with GPU cores. I just wish we could flood even more GPU cores in here. Um, the second thing is, it is the world's first quad core A15. Quad core A15, which is ARM's new CPU architecture. And uh, quite a bit faster than our last generation. We still have our power saving cord, this low power cord that hums along, sips little bits of power when you're mostly <coughs> doing low computing requirement work while you're reading a book or uh, just browsing a website or something like that. And then, of course, every mobile processor <coughs> in the future will have to be connected. And 4G is obviously the next step. It includes a 4G, NVIDIA's first 4G LTE modem. Now, the first thing, the first question I'd like to answer is how fast does fast have to be? How fast does fast have to be? And, and why is it that we're not fast enough?